Good afternoon, here is day 3 of our third Baltic Cyber Futsal League edition, the most intensive day ahead of us. Let's have a look what it's gonna bring and still some questions remain unanswered. Group positions are on the screen, some players will start only from today, so all intrigue are still in place. Tonight we are starting from the Group A, where is unfortunately no competition for the first position in the group because Alexander Ftarushin secured a place in the final already. But for the hour highlights, we decided to choose a very interesting game between Alexander Mitelica, former runner-up who missed the second tournament, finally joined the league, and newcomer from Latvia, Artur Mekelons, who was needed only one point to overcome Alexander Dmitriev to join third place battle. Equal game between the boys where it was everything, missed chances, strange penalty as you can see and last minute goal by Metelica which you're gonna see as well tonight. 2-1 and he leads in the series but Mekonans managed to win the second game and his successful debut will continue tomorrow. We are moving forward and finally Group B game, starting with Forever Third Tiri against Valery Smelkov. For Christian it was one of the most important games. He beat easily Smelkov at home with some stunning results and needed a win here to secure a place in the Grand Final. But from the beginning all went wrong for a Lithuanian player. Conceded very quickly, he changed his tactics to more attacking style and opened up some space beh behind his back for counter-attacks which Smelkov used and guaranteed at least one point for himself, beating Thierry 3-0 in the first game. Crucial loss for Christian and despite the win in the second game he will be playing only for the third place again. What a disappointment it should be. Next game between Artyom Kamashko and Valery Smelkov. Barcelona and Amsterdam Ajax been chosen. Pretty attacking team, so we're expecting lots of goals in this battle. Both guys lost their chances for the medal games, so boys completely relaxed and decided to enjoy the futsal. That's why they show possibly the best battle of the night. Artem was hosting the first game where Valery able to get 3 points and the lads moved to Estonia. Kamashka offer of the great yesterday's comeback against Yelagov now felt the same disappointment. He was 3-0 up and just one and a half minute before the end of the game but all changed in just 28 seconds. Smelkov scored three goals and moved game to the overtime where he managed to score the winner. What do you think? Which comeback was better? Last game of the night, Yelagavs against Melkov, Latvia against Estonia. Nikita's performance was one of the biggest surprises during the group stage. He beats all the favorites and secure place in the grand final, very well deserved. His last game against Melkov, he showed why he is one of the league leaders. His dribbles and combinations are a piece of art, smart futsal which is giving the results. Both guys uh, scored a few amazing goals and until very last minute of the clash everything was equal, 3-3. Free, free. 
but as usual individual skills of Barcelona players made the difference at the end again and Yelagov's taking four points in this competition and getting a long waiting place in the grand final big congratulations to him Final league standings on our screen, so here we can see that Alexander Tarushin won Group A and will face Nikita Yelagov, uh, winner of Group B in the final. The third place game will be against newcomer Artur Mekolan and Christian Tiri. Please follow us on our YouTube channel, watch final live and support your favorite player. Today, Alexander Tarushin, Cosmos Stalin, Nikita Yelagov's Futsal Club Resekne in the Grand Final. Here we are presenting for you some goals which helps our finalists to make their way to the final. Please enjoy.